What's up guys, this is Kahoot Creations, and in this video, I'm going to show you my new RC car. This is the Arma Typhon 6S version 5. It's 1 8 scale, 4 wheel drive, and it does 70 miles an hour. In here, you have the instruction manuals. I believe a few spare parts. Yep some stickers and tools. And now, this is the car itself. So this is the car. It's really heavy. Suspension feels pretty nice. Feels like it has good grip. It's got metal shocks, nice rubber boots over the shock shafts, metal shock towers, and a metal chassis. Also, one thing I want to mention is this car does not come with its own batteries, so I'm going to be using two of these 5500 mAh 3S's. So, this is my update after two weeks of owning the car. So what I've done is I made adapters to allow me to use XT90 batteries without cutting off the connectors because that voids the warranty. I installed a Power Hobby dual fan heatsink because the motor was getting quite hot. And this actually worked so well that I was able to switch it to the high speed gearing and it still stays cooler than before I had this, even when driving it hard off-road. One of the standoff screws bent. The chassis is slightly bent. It's hard to see on camera, but it is. The capacitors, so. Um, the wire, the red wire going to the capacitors got cut, actually. I think it was a servo horn turning. It cut that wire, so I have it, like, patched up now. And I relocated this to there on this little piece of plastic so that it can sit there and it's no longer flopping around on that wire. And it has a bit of flex in it to absorb the impact. I did a few wire routing things. I have the black wires in there, but the orange wire is twist tied to there because they do not both fit in there because of that extra wire for the smart batteries. So as far as actual damage goes, I broke the rod end on this shock, but I just replaced it with these RPM ones. And surprisingly, I've not broken any A-arms. This thing actually surprised me with how strong it is. The only other thing that really broke is the front differential. So there's a tooth missing, so at a certain point in the rotation, when it reaches that tooth, it loses drive to the front end. And now here's the culprit. So this is the gear that has a tooth missing, and that is why it lost drive. But not a big deal. I replaced this for like $13. So, honestly, not that bad, and probably my fault. I did land it with the power on. So, overall, I really like this truck. It 
jumps nice, it handles well. It's also fast and way more durable than I expected. However, this will set you back about 500 US dollars and it does not come with batteries. So if you don't already have batteries for it, then you'll need to spend another 50 to $100 on those as well. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I'm going to have some updates in the future, probably coming soon. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.